What's going on, guys? If you can't tell, I'm a little happy right now. Um, come home, cracked open a cold one. Had to, because I'm loving what I'm about to talk about. Oh, and by the way, I want to show you something. New hat came in. Really fits my personality, don't you think? Now, goofy hat aside, um, I would like to talk about Dwayne Johnson. Now, to anybody that may be my earlier subscribers, we'll say the first 20, 30 so subscribers, you would know, um, at least on some of the videos you watched, if you watched them, I made fun of Dwayne Johnson just a few times. Uh, it was going to be an ongoing bit I never got back to because eh, I just, just I couldn't come up with enough jokes because it just seemed tired and worn out to attempt that. But I have never shied away from the fact to tell people I have never liked Dwayne Johnson. So I will give you at least the allegations with a smile. That's going to be my bias is that I'm going to be doing it with a smile and a slight disgust on my face. But I would like to go ahead and give you just a little bit of a uh, you know background to this. When he first started doing movies, um, back when you could tell he was probably more natural, I would say, than what he obviously isn't now. Because back then, when he was wrestling and doing early movies, he didn't have, like, super washboard abs. He seemed more obtainable as a realistic body type. And he has changed himself from being a person um, to selling himself as a brand. Don't get it confused. I understand, say me, for instance, anybody that does a channel, anybody that does anything that's going to be, you know, a desirable, you know, content, basically, they are a brand. They become a brand, in, essentially, because, like, you're selling yourself as a personality. But the problem is, he tried to sell his brand as his personality. While it's a lot of people would use their personality as the brand, and it's easier to do it that way, because you don't have to hide, you don't have to fake anything. Like me, I uh, I don't hide behind anything. I just say what I want to say, and you like it or you don't. It's pretty simple. It's never hurt my feelings if somebody doesn't like my content. But I'm not selling myself as a brand. I am basically giving my personality out there, and it kind of goes in with the brand type logo or type thing in general. So I started hating him because he went from, you know, a decent upcoming actor, uh, from something that he, he definitely desired and worked hard for, to now this absolute behemoth that's pushing out multiple movies a, a year uh, through his own company, which I am not going to argue about. That's pretty decent to have your own company. But allegations are twisting everything on its head. So some allegations started as early as one of the Fast and Furious movies, the first one he did with Vin Diesel. A lot of it was apparently it was supposed to be a colliding of like, uh, you know, Goliath's, you know, personalities where I'm the big hero. No, I'm the big hero. And nobody knew. Uh, basically what was going on and if you don't know I touched a little bit on it in uh, my Fast and Furious video which was months ago basically what happened was um, they had it in their contract like neither one of them could have their ass whooped like they could go blow for blow but it uh, apparently got uh, so like crazy lawyers were there to like count how many punches were on screen because their guy had to win at least or be at a stalemate. The allegations coming out now are super disgusting too, by the way. Um, but to give you the brand he sold, he sold himself as somebody that was on time, punctual, um, kind, sweethearted, never bothered anybody. If you've ever seen him in public in a lot of videos that are shown out and you know him being a public figure, he's always been pretty kind to people. And then he's got this ongoing, like, goofy feud with Kevin Hart, which was always, you know, kind of funny to watch. But now it's coming out that pretty much he's been the worst person to ever work with. Here's the disgusting part. In between working out and shooting, when he made it on time, that is, allegedly, uh, he was allegedly peeing in bottles and just leaving, you know, just wherever. they just piss in bottles and go, all right, let's go back to shooting. Uh, they said on HBO Ballers that they would have to, like, record everybody else's scenes and just hope they could get him there and be able to record his scenes apparently um his what was it red notice i think or uh, whatever it was where he was with um ryan reynolds their movie together uh ryan reynolds apparently was quoted saying that he was just a terrible person they, they had arguments um basically couldn't work together it was just terrible and that's where apparently one of them little jokes came in that he was saying oh yeah did you not know he's entirely cgi he's not real he's hardly ever there that was a uh, little kick, just a little bit of an elbow. Ha ha, see, he's a piece of shit. For this all to come out now, I think it's kind of goofy because they also said allegedly in one of his movies, either this one or Red Notice or whatever, basically they cost, he cost them $53 million of extra, uh, you know, budget because he was late all the time. So they would have to pay all these people. 
to stay on set that didn't need to be there. Now, one of the spokespersons for like Amazon that's like, um, you know, having a big deal with seven bucks, which is his, um, his production company or whatever his company, um, Dwayne Johnson's company. And of course, I would assume PR wise, they're trying to defend him and say he was good to work with. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not, like I said, these are allegations. The reason why I'm happy to speak about him and I want to believe him is because I've always assumed he was a piece of shit anyway. But I think it's wild that basically everything's coming out now. Um, it's always been speculated. I've seen speculations everywhere and then it's hard to pinpoint sources on that one. But, uh, if you don't believe me, which is fine, like I say, anytime, anytime, no matter if like now I'm completely want to believe this is real. Uh, if you don't want to believe it, I completely understand. Do your own research. Uh, never just go, you know, torches and pitchforks at anybody because we always, there could be, uh, this could be a scandal being brought up just to get, you know, a quick paycheck. We never know things like this. Uh, just know that if this is true, that also should show you that uh, you shouldn't look up to a lot of actors or actresses because clearly they're going to just fake whatever they can to make a lot of money. Now, here's another thing. A lot of this makes sense of him being late um, and not showing up to set because he's been doing wrestling again and he's been pretty well on the roster now if you don't know about wrestlers i used to watch wrestling all the time i watch a bunch of you know behind the scene movies now i've uh, listened to uh, stone cold steve austin talk on so many podcasts about uh you know like when he broke his neck and uh his parts of all these different uh big huge times at wwe wwf at the time and how much he liked it and where he fucked up but here's the thing uh that comes from that wrestlers would tell you they have to be on the road, like, all the time. They don't see their families hardly at all. And for him to be able to make it to these movie shoots and do wrestling, he would have to be dipping out on one of them. There's no way he would even be showing up as frequently as he has. Now, I don't know if he's still showing up today, but that just explains, because he had a bunch of movies come out in, like, a couple of years in a row. And while those were coming out, he was also wrestling again, or at least showing up and making, you know, basically a hard cameo. But yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting this was coming out and pretty disgusting at the same time. And how it just kind of says everything is the opposite. But that's about all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.